Hey guys, Cool Domino here. Sorry about the lighting. My backlight behind me died recently because I was running my SD10 capacitors. But anyways, um, in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to convert a single tone Thunderbolt into a dual tone Thunderbolt or a dual tone to a single tone. It's actually very simple to do. Um, just you know, I want to keep a couple things in mind. As you can see now, it is single tone or dual tone. It's dual tone now. But what if you want to make a single tone? Well, one way you could do it is you could just cover one of the ports and then run it. That's one way to make a single tone. But what if you want to make a dual tone or make it single tone? So let's go ahead and get started. So the tools that you're going to need is you're going to need a flathead screwdriver or Phillips, depending on the screws that's on your siren. You're also going to need a hammer and um, a 3 16 allen wrench and a 1 quarter allen wrench if you have a horn attached to your thunderbolt. And an optional tool is an impact driver or drill driver would also work as well with a 3 16 attachment on it. Allen wrench attachment. So yeah. You're also going to need a alternate rotor as well. Like say if your thunderbolt is single tone you're going to need a dual tone rotor as well. If your thunderbolt is dual tone you're going to need a single tone rotor. So getting a single tone rotor would be a lot easier if you own a Model 2. Also, if you're getting your rotor from a Model 2 siren, make sure the Model 2 is rated for 240, not 120, because the 121s are a totally different design than the 241s. So in the Thunderbolts, they're always 240. They're always rated for 240. It's just another thing to keep in mind. First thing that you want to do, you want to remove these screws right here. These are 3 16th Allen wrench screws right here. So you can grab your drill driver with a, a uh, 3 16th attachment on it, or you can just use an Allen wrench. And basically just what you want to do is you want to go ahead and undo all four of these right here. Make sure you set these somewhere safe, like somewhere on the siren. And then, yeah. Now, if you had the horn attached, you would take out the screws that hold the horn on and then you should be able to pull this right out. Now, with the chopper free, you should be able to grip here and here and just pull it straight up. Be careful, this is very heavy. As you remember from my um, Thunderbolt maintenance video. Uh, links to that will be up here. And so I'm going to set this down on the workbench and I'll be right back. Now, once you have your Thunderbolt chopper motor out of the siren itself, um, you want to take these two pins out right here. These are normally in by a hammer, so you're going to take your hammer and knock them out. Um, these are from my Model 2 right here, which would still work. So, And then do the same thing on the other one. Don't have to hit them too hard. Now, go ahead and take the brushes out. And remember, be very, very careful with the brushes. They're in there nice and tight sometimes. So, just be very careful and very slow with the brushes. Just like that. And again, pull it out a little halfway, and you should be able to lift this off. Just like that. Now just set this down. Remember, be careful not to avoid dragging it, because there are some coils in there that are very sensitive. Just going with that little spin just to make sure it's all good. And it is in this case. Now I'll go ahead and flip this over again. It'll be very tricky to flip it over and just remove the top screws up here. There are four of them. Once you got all the screws out, go ahead and flip this back over. And you can should be able to pull this right out. And there's your dual tone rotor right here. Now just go ahead and set this aside for now. And then go ahead and grab your single tone rotor, which is, which is right here. This one is from my Model 2 right here, which is which still works though. Now something to keep in mind though, even though they may look the same, I want you to look at the commutators on them first. Let me bring back the dual tone rotor. See the commutator right there? This is the commutator right here of my Model 2, right, or the, the Thunderbolt right here. 
that's that's the coming of the Thunderbolt right here. You can see how many plates there are. There are at least number of plates right here. There are there are some models I've seen that have more plates on them, but I don't have that to show you at, at the moment though. You want to make sure that it has the same number of plates on the two on the two of them. You don't have to count them. You just have to look at it. And here's the one on the Thunderbolt, or my Model Two. Sorry. You can see they look very much the same, and that's what you want. Mine's a little bit more dirtier though, but that's okay. That's just the normal wear of the brushes. But yeah, that's that's what you want to look at. Now, what you want to do now, you want to take out your dual tone rotor, or single tone rotor, like that, and then just set it aside. Now just grab your single tone rotor, and just pop it right in, just like that. And then, give it a little spin, just make sure everything's good. And in this case, it's pretty good. Now putting the Thunderbolt back together is actually quite simple. You want to get that little bracket on there as well. There's a little bracket down there. You want to get that lined up and screwed into place. It might be easier if you have it sit on the edge of the table like this, and then you just um, put the screws in and then just tighten it up. Now, once you've got all the screws started, go ahead and flip this back over like that, and then just tighten up all the screws. There you go. Now, flip it back over. Just like that. And then, you can go ahead and have the ports face towards you. And then just go ahead and have the... Put this back on, but be careful not to scratch the coils. And there you go. Line this up. And then put the two pins back in. Or whatever pin, how number of pins that were in here. Making sure that you use the pin holes, not the screw holes. Now, once those are back in, go ahead and put your brushes back in. And there you go, now your Thunderbolt is converted to single tone. Now just give it a good spin, just make sure everything's good. And everything's good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and carry this back to my siren. Now go ahead and take your chopper assembly and just go ahead and put it back in. That'd be very tricky. Or awkward. Just like that. Line the holes. And go ahead and put the screws back in. And now I'm going to go ahead and get power to this and I'll be right back. Alright, and you can tell now. It's a single phone now. Now you want to do it, you want to run out the full power with uh, on 120 first, and then run it up to two and then run out the full power with 240. Now let's go ahead and do that. And it appears here, you are all good to go. And you can also do this to a Model 2 as well, and I'll show you on a sec. And also, as you see now, it's on 240 now. <laughs>
there you go. Now it runs on really nice on 240. As you can see here, um, I, you can do the same thing to a Model 2 as well. You can see it's dual tone right here. As I move that a little bit. But yeah. Um, if you had a dual tone stator, you can turn this into a 2T if you wanted to. But I don't have a dual tone stator and it actually sounds kind of cool with a single tone stator. So let's go ahead and give it a run up. <laughs> See, it runs like a Model 2 siren, but a dual tone. So, yeah. Now, if you want to convert a single tone Thunderbolt into a dual tone Thunderbolt, just simply follow the instructions again. Um, feel free to rewind in the video a little bit so you can um, see the whole video again. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and convert this back into a dual tone. And here goes the time lapse. And that is about it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And for some reason, sometimes I'm not getting your comments. So um, let me know on Instagram what your comment was and I'll try to find it. And yeah, that's about it for the video. Um, it's very easy to convert to single tone and dual tone as long as you know what you're doing. And yeah, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And make sure you wash your hands.